Welcome back to Cuttable Tarot, Aquarius. 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 Ooh, Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and other placements. Get in where you fit in. If you uh, don't find yourself in this video, please check your other placements. Yay, yay. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for the new subscribers and the returner subscribers. Now, Aquarius, uh, I've never done a reading, a room reading for the public. Okay? However, I have rooms. Okay? And so we're going to do some room reading as well as a little tarot. I felt it very strongly in my spirit today to break out the rooms. So that's what I did. I was telling Capricorn that uh, I felt it really strong. And by the time I, I went for the uh, rooms, it's, it all of a sudden it was like the bottom just fell out of the clouds and it started raining really heavy. It did that like about three or four times. And then it stopped. Now it's getting cold. <laughs> All right, Aquarius. Now I already uh, shook up the shook up the rooms and stuff. And these are the ones that fell out. Okay. Your first room is saying that you need to have some courage, Aquarius. Now there's Aquarius here. They need to have some 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 courage. Uh, you need to build some strength. Uh, you need to. Uh, I'm just saying what they what they gave me now. Uh, freedom, some tenacity, uh, and the, and what is is it in about? What is it about? Let's see. So this one is talks about freedom, tenacity, courage, um, strength. Okay. All right. And the second one talks about being self reliant. Okay, having some willpower in something. Or against something or for something. Okay, this one talks about uh, you need to have, bring some restrictions to someone or something. So that's something you need to restrict. Okay, but they're also saying that some of you Aquarius uh, uh, may uh, need to have some endurance. Now, I'm not exactly sure if that's in exercising or, or what, but they, they want you to to endure something, okay? Uh, don't give up on it, okay? They want you to see it all the way to the end. All right? Okay. All right. Communication. This one talks about communication. Okay, let me show you the first one. This is the first one. This is the second one. Second one. This is the third one, my darling. Okay. So this one speaks about communication. All right. I already said that. Now it's a possibility. And it speaks about, this is talking about spiritual communication. Okay. All right. So uh, Aquarius, you are a very spiritual person. All right, and um, some of your queries are about to get a get a, um, a another another uh, dousing of of the spirit of God. Okay, you may find yourself uh, prophesying to people in the public, people in your family, people on social media. Uh, telling them things that already happened or about to happen or that's going on in their lives as well as giving them the uh, the solution to it. That means that you're an oracle, okay? You, you're speaking directly from heaven. It's coming in and going out. This is clear communication. You may start having visions as well, as well as... Uh, being more inspired to move forward. Now, that's normally what happens when you uh, you tap into your spirituality or you get a blessing from on high and you get more added to you. Uh, you get more inspired to continue to move forward. 
and to allow these things to take take over your life in a positive way. It's not for bad, okay? Uh, yeah, okay? This card right here says that you, this card, I did not mean to say that. But this one, I feel that something is coming your way, okay? Something good, okay? Like joy and peace. Could be some pleasure. Ooh. Could be some prosperity or some harmony. And you just might just have some comfort coming in, you know, something that's going to make you feel real good, okay? Yeah, but you got something coming in your way, okay? Prosperity and harmony. All right, Aquarius. Your last rune, Aquarius. This one right here. Wow. This one talks about uh, inheritance. Now, there are some Aquarians that may have an inheritance coming their way. It could be something left by an ancestor. Uh, it also speaks about uh, you might want to check into your heritage, okay, to find out what's going on. Because there may be money sitting up there. Nobody in your family has collected, okay? It's just sitting there, you know. And um, you, uh, I almost told you the name of the company. But anyway, it's, it has something to do with property, property, property. Uh, Unclaimed property, okay? Go and check that out and see what you got there. Check out your, your ancestors' names and see if they have something there, okay? And you may be able to claim that, okay? This also speaks about experience, okay? So there's a lot of experience that you've had over the past. Heartaches, heartbreaks, uh, pain. Uh, things like that, which brought you uh, to become the, the person that you are today, a much refined person that you are today. Okay, Aquarius? All right. So um, they want you to uh, really uh, look into their inheritance. Okay? Uh, uh, they, they want you to know that and not all of you, but some of you have an ancestry inheritance that you need to look into and find out what you have to do to collect it. All right, Aquarius. Now, I don't know if you saw me when I shuffled these cards or not, but I did. So what is the message that you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. All right, the hermit. Oh, my goodness. They're saying if you go into hermit mode, if you take some time to meditate and to pray, uh, whatever you normally do, take some time to do some soul searching. Aquarius, they say that you're going to, when you come out of it, you're going to be happy. Okay? Yeah. Ooh, not only that, you're going to be very successful. So I don't know if this, ha yeah, it has something to do with money. Look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Okay? You're going to be very fulfilled. Okay? Even if it has nothing to do with money and it's just spiritual, you're going to be very fulfilled. Take that time to check into these rooms, like they said. Check into the, your inheritance, because if it just has something to do with inheritance, that's why you're going into hermit mode, because you're doing some soul searching or some searching all together, okay? And afterwards, you found something, and it made you find, be happy, you know? It might have been a whole bunch of money, baby. Some thousands, look at that. Okay, might have some royalties left over from, from an oil well or something that your people have. Okay, but nobody's claimed it in years, and it's going to bring you some success. It's that six of swords. Yes, indeed. And look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. That's that, that, that nine of pentacles right there. That's abundance. That's abundance. Feeling abundant. Feeling alive. And I think one of these rooms was talking about ab abundance as well. Mm-hmm. Right. You might want to check in the Capricorn. You might have Capricorn in, in your in your chart also, uh, Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The prosperity one. Which one was that? That was this one right here. That's your abundance. Check into it. Okay, you got uh the four of cups and uh knight of cups. Okay, so you got some good news coming in about some money. Might not be exactly what you were looking for, but, I mean, I hear better some than none, right? That's what I heard, better some than none, okay? 
So anything else Aquarius need to know before we close this reading? One more shuffle. Aquarius, you have a wonderful day, evening, or weekend. I see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah.